Hey everybody, what's up? So, my granddad's on his way, about to go to the gym, and then once we get back, I gotta go do some shopping and help my grandma out. So, yeah, I've got quite a few things planned today, but we'll get it done, we'll get a good workout in, and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Hey everybody, what's up? In today's video, I will be doing a lot of pressing. And you will notice that a lot in my videos here in the future, I am focusing a lot on heavy pressing lifts. I am really going to be focusing on blowing up my chest this winter by any means necessary. I will be doing a lot more different lifts than I have been within the past few weeks and switching up the training finally and it feels like a very good way to keep me motivated and make me even more likely to be feeling like positive about going to the gym and not missing a session. So I will be doing more with dumbbells in general. I do very very little with them I have noticed and I always am wanting to add variety to my workout. The more lifts I get better at the more i will have in my arsenal when i'm trying to build the best program i can for myself in the future so learning these things sooner rather than later is super important i have been doing more incline smith machine bench pressing lately which i really am not a fan of the one at least at the gym that i go to but it is the only smith machine that we have so i'm going to have to use it or lose it and that's one lift that I have been neglecting and should really not have been. And that goes for incline pressing altogether, even just with a barbell, because I'm really not a fan of the angle that most of the fixed benches are at our gym. But that along with regular dumbbell flat benching too. Switching it up and working on different types of training, in my opinion, might be a good way to climb this hurdle that I can't seem to get over. On the bench bench press, at least at the gym I record at, I can't seem to get more than 3 to 4 reps per set on my best days, and most of the time it's more like 2 to 3 reps, even if I only train once a week on the bench. So I think what I'm going to do is lighten the load a little bit and rework my way back up to a 135 pound working set weight. So maybe go to a 125 pound bench press for start and then don't move the weight until I can get like 4 or 5 sets of 12 reps then 3 or 4 sets of 10 reps minimum for 130 pounds and then try again with 135 pounds for hopefully at, at a minimum 5 to 6 reps for at least 2 sets to start maybe even 3 but until then I will also be using the Cambird Bar More. I really love that thing. I have been looking for one that I can get for my house as well that isn't either a piece of junk or won't break the bank account, which holy crap, those are so expensive if you've never looked into those before. Any specialty barbell really can run a pretty penny. Speaking of that, I am going broke really really quick this week really hurt you guys i can't lie it was almost a full week of zero hours worked like that's insane fortunately we do go back to work tomorrow finally and me and ken got a ton of videos taken care of and a lot of work done behind the scenes and i'm really really happy so once i get moved out and over to my grandparents house things will start running a lot more smoothly I will have to take all my electronics and stuff, which means I really need to stay on top of my game, otherwise I will lose track of things, and things will start to fall apart. I cannot let myself get distracted, and I haven't been feeling so hot recently. I had to get a pretty big tooth procedure done recently, including an extraction, and it really freaking hurts. I just want to lay in bed and not wake up for like a month. Literally, it hurts so bad that I haven't wanted to do anything, including go to the gym or do anything on the computer like YouTube stuff, video games, or whatever. So with that being said, I'm going to get ready for work, and I'm really not happy that I have to get back today, but I gotta suck it up. And I've been taking Tylenol and Ibuprofen every other hour, including when I wake up in the night from pain. But hopefully in the next video, I will be a lot better off. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe and notification bell to be notified whenever I upload another video. 
I'm actually uploading a video every single day in December. So leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. Leave a dislike if you disliked it. And also leave a comment letting me know your opinion. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace. Are you just gonna take that? Make them take it all back. Don't tell me you believe that. Are you just gonna take that? Or will you fucking fight back? You just gonna take that Make them take it all back Don't tell me you believe that Are you just gonna take that Or will you fucking fight back? Or will you fucking fight back? so it is a little later uh about three hours after the workout i actually picked up some wrist wrap gloves um it's got the wrist wraps and gloves all in one uh been needing a pair for a while so super happy to grab a pair they're not the best a little big but you know it'll it'll do so i really hope you guys enjoyed the video I was 163.3 pounds this morning when I woke up. Just a little update on the bulk. Uh, solids have been uh, going well. Um, I'd say, I'd say, yeah, about 500 calories a day from solid foods on top of my uh, regular diet. And uh, yeah, I haven't. I, there's no noticeable fat difference from last week. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, uh, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.